now that we have our header just the way we want it, I'm going to take all of those elements and create something called a library element. Now this library element is similar to many other applications. They, some applications call them components, some call them nodes. Think of it as a small bit of text or, or content that is added to your website from a central repository. So what I mean is we're going to make five or six pages, web pages, but we want the same header on every web page. That way if we decide we want to add a new menu item, we go back to the original item, add a menu item, and it's completely updated on all of the pages that we're building. This is how you really want to think out and think through when you build a website. Using Dreamweaver, that's one step, but actually using it productively, that's another. And so hopefully you can take this one step and see how powerful this is when working with bigger projects. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to select everything in this div tag. So I'm going to go down here where it says div.menu. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to press Control-X. I'm going to cut that right out. All right. And I'll close up my style sheets here, and I'm going to open up my files area. Now, we've played with this for a while, but let's go into another tab here called Assets. Now, what's great about Assets is you have two things that are really important. One, your favorites and two, your site-wide settings. Okay, we'll talk about some of these here in just a second. These color palettes are very important because this will give us the, the opportunity to um, select each of these colors and store them in your favorites, and we're going to do that here in just a second. Here are links, if we had links, um, flash elements, which we're going to be using here in just a little bit, shockwave elements, video elements, scripts, if we had scripts, our templates, which we're going to show you here in a little bit. But lastly is this thing down here called library. Okay. Now, you don't have any library elements right now, so let's create one. So I'm just going to go down here to this little plus sign. All right. We're going to choose a uh, new library element here. And I'm going to call this my main menu in the header. All right. We'll double click to open this element. And essentially, this is just like a web page. You have an entire blank canvas to work on. I'm not even going to mess with this. I'm just going to hit Control V to paste. Okay, so all my stuff is added here. Now I'm going to save this. I'm just going to close this and hit Yes for saving. And I want to add this back in here. So the way I'm going to do that is hit Insert. Okay, now if you notice it's highlighted in yellow but if I preview this I'm back to normal okay all my links are gone but I'm, I'm back to normal everything is good okay so how do I get that link on there because right now there's nothing so I'll link that to the index page there's a couple of ways to do this one you could double click right here and open it again Okay, so I'll go ahead and make that a link. Okay, I'll just do a uh, pound sign for now, just to make it easier, because I want to do links on their own. All right, close this. And when I close that, it's going to say, wait a minute, do you want to update the files that have this library element? And I'm going to say update. And it says done, so I'll hit close. And now when I preview this, Okay, F12 is the shortcut to preview. Notice that this automatically works now. So it's pretty amazing that you can quickly build library elements just like this throughout your web pages. Okay, I'm going to add one more library element, and that's going to be a Flash uh, document here. And our our padding is going to be off, so we're going to have to tweak this padding a little bit. We'll come back and do our final tweak adjustments here in a little while. All right, let's uh, create a new library element. Okay, this is going to be our flash quote. I'll double click on it, and now I'm going to add a piece of flash element. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. You can go to insert, uh, media, flash. Okay, you can also go to this little icon here and choose flash. So we'll go ahead and add a flash file in the flash document or flash folder, uh, excuse me, you'll see um, a quotes underscore AS1. Okay, we'll hit OK. 
And for accessibility issues, we can say this is the random quote. Hit OK. And there it is. It's our, got our Flash file in here. We're going to talk more about using Flash and Dreamweaver in another lesson. But now that we have our Flash file in here, we'll hit Save. We'll close this. And I want to add this to my template or add this to my page here. So I can just drag and drop just like that right in there. So now I've got a Flash element added, my text added. Where else would you use this library system? Well, any time that you have anything that needs to be updated all over the site. So in reality, if I wanted to, I can add this gloss logo to my library. So that way, if I want to, let's say, change the alt tag, right? Remember that text that we added um, right here that says site logo? Maybe we want to change that to our phone number, call for more information. Well, we can just change it one time in this library, and it will change everywhere on every page automatically, which is really, really powerful if you think about it. All right, with that said and done, I feel like we've built the shell of our website uh, perfect. I mean, we've got all the pieces that we want. Let me just refresh here. We've got everything in its place. Now we're ready to populate this thing and um, get all of our pages built and ready to go. So.